All right, so we're here to meet on Rahi in kindergarten. All right, so far Rahi has um, six DBMs and two crisis calls. That's a total of eight. Um, Cynthia, can you tell us a little bit about um, her behaviors? Um, one of the things that she struggles with in class is that she perseverates a lot. Um, if there's something that she wants done or a question she wants answered, she'll repeat this behavior of asking the question over and over, even if it's not an appropriate time and you give her the direction, please go sit down or go raise your hand. She'll continue to ask until she gets the answer that she wants. Um, if you continue to tell her to go sit down and to follow the direction, she then like shuts down. Um, she has a hard time with organization, um, just following our everyday routines. Um, and then she's having a really difficult time making friends. Uh, I think it has to do with her invasion of like personal space or not really listening to what her peers are telling her or how they're feeling. She kind of makes them feel uncomfortable and pressures them a lot. Um, so it's just becoming now like a, a classroom culture issue and I just want to make sure that she's able to learn the social skills to have friendships in our class. Okay, so what I hear you saying is that she perseverates. Mm -hmm. She has trouble with executive functioning, yeah. which is her organizational skills, has trouble initiating and making friendships, yeah. and has difficulty with personal space. Are you guys seeing the same thing when you guys there? Yes, I have her in acceleration, and sometimes she does get really close to some students and staff, and we have to just remind her, like, oh, go out, raise your hand, go sit down and raise your hand. And I did see that yesterday too with the activities that are taking place at Link. That when she had a question, she would not, it was hard for her to accept an answer when it mm -hmm. wasn't one that she was looking for. And the, again, just with that personal space, like she would stay there. Is she, question, is she an EL student? She is. Okay. She is. So then I'm just wondering, like, what the directions that we're giving her, perhaps it's in a way that she's not quite understanding. So maybe modeling it. Mm -hmm. for her as well like when you <coughs> question like this is where you stand like just teaching her that appropriate space yeah um that would be good it's a good, it's a good suggestion mm -hmm. so we always look we always look at one behavior right because um they there's many right but we want to focus in on one so i'm thinking is a personal space mm -hmm. or yeah i think too we can use check and check out right because we have enough documentation now and that could help give her some of that positive reinforcement <coughs> constantly for some of those other smaller behaviors. And then we can really focus in on the personal space, like Michelle said. And I do feel like she'll buy into it because she does love that teacher attention. And so if check in, check out, she would have that positive reinforcement after every subject and maybe talking about like something that she can work on, like Soren Wish. I feel like she'd be motivated to do that. She wants to do well. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if there's a visual like a visual <coughs> for her to help with that personal space. Maybe um, I know some students with the tape around their desk, so they know like that's mm -hmm. their area, and they need to stay in their area before they. Yes, the I think yes. You can also mm -hmm. do like a social story, especially to help um, her process with her being EL and everything. I think a social story about her would help her go back and reference. And helping her understand and see what she has to do. Mm -hmm. That's good. I like that. I like that. All right, for sure. And I know that um, kindergarten has a social skills group that is happening during lunch. I think that she mm -hmm. might be a really great fit for that as well to help build her her social her skills social and her skills. friendships. Yeah, and being you. able, given the opportunity to act out those expectations, like in real mm -hmm. life. I mean, you can teach you right all the universal supports like. So you have cars, just like mm -hmm. normal, all of that with her still. All right, so Michelle, do you want to summarize what, we're, what we've got in place? Sure. So we're going to start her on check-in and check-out, as she loves the teacher attention, and we'll make sure her mentor um, works with kindergarten. We will do a social story about following directions. Um, I'd be happy to do that, and that's, I'll do that. Um, we'll tape Velcro or some kind of tape around her desk to help with personal space. Um, I will reach out for the social skills group and um, we will continue with positive feedback and thank her. That's a great start, right? Yeah, that works. Right. I think that'll be good for her. Okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.